Hello, welcome back to this virtual platform. We'll be talking today about percentage change. Percentage change is used to calculate percentage variation from the original value to the new value. And most of the time, when you work out percentage change and you have a positive number, it shows percentage increase. And when the answer comes out negative, it shows percentage decrease. To do that, we make use of this formula. New value always minus the old value, divide all by old value and times it by 100. So let's look at exam style question and how we make use of this formula. An empty container weighs 400 grams. The container is filled with water. The container now weighs 2.3 kilograms. Calculate the percentage change in the weight of the container. Give answer correct to significant figures. Now you realize that the first thing we need to think about is the units are different. So we might want to change kilograms into grams. And a thousand grams is equal to one kilogram. So our 2.3 kilograms now becomes 2,300 grams. So this is the original one, old one, and this is the new one. Now we put it into the formula. This is the formula, new minus old, all over, old times 100. And you are allowed to use a calculator. And we have a positive number, so that shows a percentage increase. Now, the question says two significant figures. So 475%, 4, 7 is the two important numbers. So behind 7 is 5, so we round up. That is why it's 480% increase. So from 400 to 2,300, we've increased the weight by 480 percent. Let's look at question two. Amma Prabha bought a book for £18.50. She read it and later sold it for £14.80. Calculate the percentage decrease in the value of the book. Now here the confirmation is made that it's a decrease. Sometimes they might just say calculate the percentage change in the value of the book. So the answer will confirm that it's a decrease. Original amount the new amount. So we have the old, which is eighteen pound fifty. The new fourteen pound eighty. Just put into the formula work, and you work it out. And that gives us negative twenty. The negative signifies a decrease. So the answer is twenty percent decrease. The value or the price of the book has gone down by twenty percent. Next slide, I'm going to talk to you about repeated percentage. How do we do repeated percentage?